hello grade 9 and welcome to a new English lecture today we will take our first writing lesson how to write a well-organized paragraph as you guys already know a paragraph is a group of sentences that discusses one main idea okay paragraph is a group of sentences discussing one main idea and it is made of three parts. Number one, the topic sentence. It is usually the first sentence of a paragraph and it holds the main idea of the whole paragraph. So when I come to write my topic sentence, I need to take a look at the prompt. What did the teacher ask me? Let's say I asked you to write to write two advantages of having high self-confidence. So the main idea will be two advantages or advantages of having high self-confidence. So my topic sentence will be probably having high self-confidence has several advantages. Okay, or having high self-confidence has positive effects. Full stop. So what I'm going to learn or what I'm going to write in this paragraph is the positive effects of having high self-confidence. This is concerning the topic sentence, which is the main idea of this paragraph. Then I finished my main idea. I want to write the supporting details. Now the supporting details are all supposed to support my main idea, which is the topic sentence. So uh, I need to talk about two advantages okay, for having high self-confidence. We give ideas that develop and support our main idea, which is in the topic sentence. So I would say having high self-confidence will, uh, will uh, help you overcome challenges. Okay, and I need to, that this is one sentence, and I need to give examples about that, at least one example, to support my idea with a sub-supporting detail. Then I need to write another advantage because I asked you for two advantages. You will tell me, moreover, having high self-confidence would earn you lots of friends. And you would give me an example about someone you know, about yourself, etc., the concluding sentence in a paragraph is the last sentence, of course, and it simply restates your topic sentence. It rewrites it in a different uh, form, of course, in different words. You need just to paraphrase your topic sentence. A very important note here, we need to use transitional signals such as to begin, furthermore, first of all, in conclusion, etc. To link your ideas together or else your writing will be boring and not connected together at all. Imagine, imagine uh, writing a paragraph without connecting it to words, without using connecting words. It will be, as we say, incoherent. The word coherent means connected together. So those are the three main parts of a paragraph. Let's go a little into details. Again, topic sentence. This sentence tells the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. We said uh, high self-confidence has several advantages. Full stop. So obviously, I'm going to talk about uh, the advantages of high self-confidence. Then my supporting sentence one. Okay, you can have up to three supporting sentences, of course. Supporting sentence one, this sentence gives specific details relating to the main idea. I asked you for two, so you, you just write uh, two supporting sentences and you give me for each supporting sentence, you will give me one sentence. And then the concluding sentence, this sentence refers to the topic sentence and sums up the main idea of the paragraph. Okay, now I uh, want to write a well-organized paragraph about the importance of self-confidence in our daily lives. I'm going to show you step by step how that is written. I wrote a 
uh, I wrote a model paragraph for you. Here it is. Okay, I use different colors to show the different parts of a paragraph. Obviously, the part in green is the, of course, the topic sentence which holds the main idea of the paragraph. Let's take a look back at the prompt itself. I said, write a well-organized paragraph about the importance of self-confidence in our daily lives. Okay, so... Topic sentence, self-confidence is, self is an important trait that helps us in several aspects of our lives. Full stop. Now, notice here, the supporting details, those in blue, are the supporting details. Of course, I need to begin with the transitional signals to connect my ideas. A beginning, a good beginning transi transitional signal would be to begin, or to begin with, or first of all. To begin, people with self-confidence manage to deal with difficult situations and overcome challenges. Full stop. Now, another supporting detail. They do not fear hardships. Obviously, hardships are difficulties because they believe in their powers. This is why such people tend to be very successful in life. Full stop. So, I gave a sub supporting detail and a sub-supporting detail. They simply don't give up. Again, I'm supporting my idea. In addition to that, so this is another detail. When I'm adding, I use in addition, furthermore, moreover. People who believe in themselves don't mind what others say about them. They accept what they are and are proud of it. Furthermore, again, another addition, uh, transitional signal. Furthermore, if they think that what they're doing is right, nothing and no one will stop them. Full stop. In conclusion, notice I need a, an appropriate transitional signal when I reach the conclusion. In conclusion, having self-confidence can help us be our best selves and thrive in society. Full stop. In a way, I am restating what I said in the topic sentence. So those are the different parts of a paragraph and I wrote a well-organized paragraph for you. Now, I will give you a prompt to write on your own uh, with, after taking a look at what we have uh, just done. You have to revise the PowerPoint lectures, of course. You have to revise the worksheet I uploaded for you in the worksheet uh, icon in the app. Your turn to write. Write a well-organized paragraph talking about two advantages of having a growth mindset. It's somehow similar to having high self-confidence. A growth mindset, remember, is when you have a positive attitude. Mindset means attitude or way of thinking. Okay, You are not afraid of challenges. Uh, you, you work hard. Uh, you're okay if you if you are uh, faced with a difficult situation you do your best to uh, transgress it or to overcome it remember to include a topic sentence supporting details an example for each supporting detail and a concluding sentence as I showed you in the model paragraph of course please go back to the model paragraph take a very thorough look at it it's also in your worksheet and work accordingly. Now, when I want to write anything, I'm going to go with you again through the writing process. I don't just get a piece of paper and start writing my paragraph. No, there is something called a writing process because writing is a process. It's not just something you do randomly and quickly. First of all, we have to Brainstorm, okay? Take a look at the stages of the writing process. First one, pre-writing. I have to think about my topic. It goes on in my brain. There is a storm in my brain, storm of ideas. I need to plan it here in my mind, okay? The first stage is planned here. Then drafting. I start writing my rough draft, okay? You quickly put phrases on the paper. Don't write in full sentences. Just jot down those brainstormed ideas and phrases on a piece of paper, on a scratch piece of paper. 
Now rework the organization in the revising and details. Write it down. Then review. Okay, write down your first draft. Review and correct your spelling, your grammar, your, ca your capitalization, and your punctuation. Finally, you finish. Okay, let me take a look. I wrote my draft. Okay, let me revise. Let me evaluate. What does evaluate mean? Evaluate my own work. It means I am criticizing my own work. Oh, maybe I should have written this in a different way. Maybe instead of using a uh, way of thinking, maybe I should use the word attitude. This is what evaluating means. Evaluating or criticizing your own work and checking how you can improve on it. After you finish, you publish. Publishing is writing your final draft, which you will give to the teacher or to the reader. And this is basically the writing process. Okay? So, pre-writing and brainstorming. This is the first part. You brainstorm it in your head and then you uh, draft it on a, on a scratch sheet of paper. Uh, here's I'm, go I'm going through the uh, brainstorming part with you. Advantages of a growth mindset. Like challenges. Seek help when needed. Don't give up. See here, I'm brainstorming and I'm writing a first. I'm writing uh, the ideas that come to my mind. Okay? Then, moving on. You start writing the ideas you brainstormed on a paper, your first draft. Write it, write the paragraph itself, and then you revise, you look for the whether it's clear, your ideas are all clear, whether they are accurate, correct, you edit your mistakes in grammar and punctuation, etc. And as we said. Okay, you take a good look, of course, good look, not good look at what you wrote and evaluate whether it's good enough and contains all the points you wanted to include in the best manner. Okay, after that, you write your final draft, the one which you're going to give to your teacher, of course. Now, your assignment, guys, is to follow the above steps, okay? Watch the video thoroughly, of course. Watch it and re-watch it if you need to. Uh, read the worksheet carefully. Follow the steps and write the paragraph I asked you to. Okay, Write a well-organized paragraph talking about two advantages of having a growth mindset. Of course, that's going to be written in the, in the homework I uploaded for you. Okay. Uh, you're going to upload it as a PDF file. We'll talk about that in details uh, in the uh, Zoom live session, okay? So this is it for today's lecture. I hope it was, uh, it was uh, beneficial for you. For anything, you can ask me through WhatsApp or uh, jot down notes and you can ask me on Zoom live. Take care and bye-bye.